Hey there, Mindy Ross of Impact City Church, and this is my This Is Me story. When I was 16 years old, I heard God's voice for the first time, telling me I was going to do something big for him. But by the time I was 21, his voice was so clouded and um, distant because of the way I was living that I had strayed so far away from my purpose and my calling. I was on the way to fame and fortune, you know, making a name for myself. And it was looking good. I was being casted for opportunities among celebrities. Um, I was even at one point offered the opportunity to travel the world free of charge and choose the city and state that I wanted to live in. And uh, it would all be taken care of for me. But at that same time that the world was pursuing me and it was looking good, I had a heavenly father pursuing my heart even stronger in the most unexpected way. And at the height of my professional dance career, I saw two pink lines. And those two pink lines turned my world upside down and turned me right side up. You know, in those moments when we know we've made a mistake, we can either turn away from God or turn toward him. And Justin and I made a decision, being pregnant out of wedlock, to turn toward God with reckless abandon. We left the life of living for ourselves behind and we gave everything we had, all the energy and zeal and passion that we had put into making a name for us, we put it into the things of God. And we began volunteering and ministry in every area they would let us. And we laid down the party life and we picked up this new godly life that would be tougher and would have its own challenges, but brought us alive. We've became, we became alive every time we served the Lord. And it, and it stirred up this passion within me again that I had when I was 16. And it led me all the way, many ups and downs along the way, but all the way here where now I get to pastor Impact City Church. I get to do what I love. I get to travel and minister to people. And this time traveling on in, by his name and for his name and not for my own. And this time on stage, not performing for myself, for my own glory, but this time on stage proclaiming his name and lifting him up high. And I tell you what, there is no greater feeling than being right in the center of God's will for your life. And so I, I just challenge anybody that's in this place where you have a decision to either turn away from God or turn toward him. The one path will lead to darkness and the other one will lead to you being more alive than you have ever been. And I'm so thankful in that moment that I turned toward the Lord and it led me here. So I hope my story encourages you and I hope it encourages you to share your This Is Me story. The dirty, ugly parts of it and the glorious parts of it. And it's going to encourage somebody else in a way that nobody else can. God bless.